Okay, so now we need to make the agent turn left. I'm going to just grab that and I'm going to substitute turn underscore left, move forward, just copy this one, and then turn left. I'm going to copy that one. I'm curious to know what this looks like. Okay, so this is part two, so we'll wait till later. And then what we're going to do is, oh, for loop. Oh, silly, silly me. Okay, for loop two. I think that's what that is. Wait, let's go back up here. For loop one, set to nine. I misread that. Okay, so the first loop, for the first loop, set that to nine. And then this is for the second loop, set it to four. Okay, so yes, that makes sense. So, um, for j in range 4, colon, close the parentheses, colon, and inside of this loop, what we're going to do is we're going to call the functions that we um, just defined. So function underscore, um, <laughs> let's first move forward, forward, okay, um, and parentheses, function, we're going to have a turn right, we'll grab it right from the auto um, complete and then uh, have it move forward again. Let's go ahead and just copy and paste that. And then our last one for part, our last part of this uh, loop is going to be function underscore turn left and parentheses and it says we have a problem. Where is that problem? Expected indent near agent. That's line 14. So this debugger is really handy. It tells you exactly where the code is uh, could be wrong. So make the agent move forward. Oh, all right. Yeah, because this is part of that loop. So we need another indent. All right. OK, cool. Let's go ahead and hit play to compile the code and hopefully we're in a good spot to watch what happens. Holy, yay. Oh, look at what, oh, I see why we're moving left, right, forward, left, right, forward. So we, uh, yay. Oh, that's where the gold block is. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna go to part two. So let's go over here. We train the agent, oh my goodness. We train the agent to go through the rows back and forth. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take um, what we learned in the last activity. So instead of destroying block, we just have to get past, have the agent look back at the block behind it. And then um, if it's grass, it's going to till it, plant it, and then fertilize it. Oh, can't wait. Okay, that's exciting. Um, and then remember, too, before we hit play next time, we need to um, make sure that we copy and paste our code into a, an outside text editor. Okay, so let's go to part two. Look at the part twos. So in this function forward, we're adding a conditional for the agent to inspect the condition. Okay, so here is what we're saying. Well, there's a few things here. Let's actually, let's read it first because I'm uh, really good at, um, you know, jumping right in <laughs> and then having to fix things. All right, so what we're adding in part two is an if else conditional with the agent inspecting the condition, right? So it's inspecting, I guess, what is behind so that it can till and plant and still move forward without the tree being in its way. Um, we need to add a function that plants saplings, and then we need to place the command below in the else part of the condition. Oh, so the else agent move forward will be in the else. So for loop, oh, for i in range nine, so as it's moving forward, those 10 squares, it's going to check um, back um, whether the grass, the square is grass or the block is grass, and then it's going to plant the, si the, the sibling, the sapling. Okay, so that's the first part. So let's go ahead and add that to the loop. 
Okay, so for i in range 9, we have to put another indent, and we're going to add an if-else. I'm going to go ahead and just grab it out of the logic drawer so that I have the um, syntax correct. So I'm going to place that right there. So if true, if true, pass this um, code and else pass that code. So um, I'm going to agent move forward, um, match that up with that indent, and I'll get rid of that pass. Okay, so now this is going to be here. This should be here. If true, pass. Add a function that plants saplings. Okay, if true. Are we defining the function in here? Are we putting the function outside? Okay, so let's take a peek at two. Declare function four till back. Oh, okay, so it's gonna, it wants us to, okay, so function four, we're not putting the function inside of the loop. We're taking it out and we're gonna pass it through once we're done. Okay, so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna make our fourth function. So this one is going to be def, uh, define space, function, underscore um we'll call this one plant trees because that's what it's doing plant trees um, parentheses colon we're going to have the agent move forward okay uh, so agent dot move forward all caps remember comma one how many close the parentheses i'm going to have the agent till back agent dot till in which direction back Okay, and then we're going to have the agent place back. So agent place um, where to the back. Whoops, and that was lowercase back, close it. And I think that we are good with that. So here we're going to take function plant trees and we're going to pass this in here. Function, whoops, lowercase function underscore plant trees. Remember that we need the um, parentheses. So now we need to put in the true condition. So we want to use agent inspect. I'm not so good with that. I don't know what the syntax of that code is. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, rely on my drawer, my command drawer. So I'm looking for ha, agent detect kind direction. So I'm going to put that in true or next to true, okay? So let's clean this up. If agent detect, agent detect block, grass, right? We're looking for grass, and the grass is gonna be down, okay? Then we want function plant trees, else move forward, right? So let's take a peek at um, what the function plant tree says. Hopefully the first thing is move forward. Yeah, okay. So if the agent detects that grass is below it, function call function plant trees, which will move forward, till back, plant back, and, and that's it. If there's no grass below, then it'll just move forward. Okay, so I think that this is all of it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click Control A, Control C, Control A to copy, Control, I mean, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then come out here. Uh, oh, I need a new, so Control T, all kinds of controls, docs.new, and then, Control V to put this code in here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's cross our fingers. Let's click play. Oh no, we have a problem. Okay. Module agent detection has no attribute grass. Oh, because you know what? I didn't do this. Okay. Block, this should be block. Whoops. Block down. And then we're going to make it, compare it if it's grass. Ah, wrong place. That wound up in the comment equals grass, ah, uh, uppercase. 
Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. 